Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Relevant Jukebox. And today we're gonna to talk about the newest album from Angel Olsen, Whole New Mess. So this is the fifth studio album for the singer-songwriter, and this one's coming hot off of the heels of her last release, All Mirrors, which was a pretty big change sonically for Angel. She added tons of layers of synthetic and lavish instrumentation into the fold to give her sound a more grandiose feeling. And you know, I think it did work overall. Uh, I did enjoy that record quite a bit, but I wasn't really quite sure how she was going to follow it up. Would she experiment more with this new direction and sound, or would she bring it back to her rock roots? And the answer to that question, um, not really either of those scenarios, actually. Instead, we get these like stripped back versions of tracks that landed on all mirrors and they're presented in this raw demo quality way on the appropriately titled Whole New Mess. And I mean, this album might be a cool backdrop, I suppose, if you're having a really rainy, depressing Sunday afternoon, but for me overall, I was not really digging these reworked versions. Overall, they just feel too scant and hollow and Honestly, I mean, some of the effects that she layers over her vocals on some of these tracks just sound horrible, in my opinion, and kind of take away from her really powerful voice. Take the track New Love Cassette, for example, uh, which was one of my favorites off of All Mirrors, but on this new reworked version over here, she kind of sounds like a mermaid with all the reverb that she's slathered on it. And also on the track We Are All Mirrors, which is actually a perfect example of how stripping away all of that lavish instrumentation was not really the right move, honestly. I mean, the reworked version of this track doesn't have that really prominent melody that the synth lead plays that really makes the track. I mean, it's just like not the same overall. I mean, and those are just a couple examples of how that works on this album because there's not really much else to note on this release overall. Um, I think maybe hardcore fans of Angel might dig this, but for me, I mean, overall, it was just pretty underwhelming. I mean, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, and with that being said, I'm feeling a five over here on Whole New Mess. Now, there are a few variants floating around of this on vinyl that you can collect. Currently, right now, Jag Jaguar does have a pink glass limited variant up on their website, and when that sells out, they have standard black. There's also cassettes. And if you are around your local record store and you get lucky, there is a clear with smoke transparent vinyl that you can find that's an indie exclusive, so stay on the lookout for that. And if you did listen to Angel Olsen's newest record, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and share. And if you want more content from me, hit that subscribe button. Peace.